So, uh, some more community partners that helped make this possible. Where did we leave off? Friends of the Earth? Human Rights Campaign Triangle? Indivisible Triangle Daily Call to Action? League of Women Voters of North Carolina? Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America? They got everything right there in their title, don't they? Moms Rising. Uh, N-A-R-A-L, Narrow Pro-Choice NC, NC AIDS Action Network, and the NC Herpetological Society. We also have NC Normal, the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, which again, like, it's, it may sound strange, but clearly, whatever policy, whatever you're feeling on the subject, policy should be based on science. Um, NC Now, the NC Science Festival, and in fact, oh, where did our little Kelvin doll go? The NC Science Festival, which is going on this month all over the state, and NC State AFL-CIO. Now, uh, we only have a few more uh, presentations, and uh, you know what, before I bring on the next one, though, I thought I'd like to call out, if you're holding a sign, why don't you hold your signs up? Let me call out a couple. I saw some great signs here. Up and Adam, A-T-O-M. Up and Adam, it's time to react. No science, no chance. Evidence matters. Only two things are infinite. The universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the former. That's an Einstein quote. <laughs> Save science funding. She's with her also. Uh, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. And that was Chief, I can't see the bottom. Who was that? Chief Seattle. Uh, the good thing about science is that it's true whether, you, whether or not you believe it. And uh, that's Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> to protect and study our planet. NASA. Yes. What I stand for is what I stand on. Wendell Berry. The Earth. There's a picture of the Earth there. Science illuminates the world. Science is the torch which illuminates the world. That's Louis Pasteur. Science is for everyone. Everyone for science. Very small font. I, I'm old. I only march periodically. I am constantly... Resisting. All right, with some science puns. The oceans are rising and so are we. One is a good thing, one not so good. The forest, and then it gets really small print. <laughs> but the forest, I think we can all stand behind that. The forest, yes, ladies and gentlemen, let's stand for uh, something of reacting science. The way we aren't overreacting, science is the solution. Sci uh, one planet, one chance. My Disney princess. Stem oh, my Disney princess. STEM can save the world. Science, not silence. In science, we trust. Destroy the patriarchy, not the planet. Said the man on stage. Change the politics, not the climate. I'm a scientist. I never, what? I never apologize for the truth. You're holding two very small signs. I appreciate it, but you're, you, got, you guys are stressing my vision. I know I don't have perfect vision. You don't have to remind me. Too busy in lab to make a real sign. All right, there you go. And wait, what's the other one? Never too busy to march for science. Fantastic, thank you. Um, the earth is not flat, you claim, on that flat sign of yours. Um, save the planet, climate change is real, and then something in a very light pen under that. And, uh, oh, yours, impossible, dude. Sorry. I see that you're holding a sign, and I think that's awesome. Um, so, you know what? We're going to hear from some teens in a little while. But we're going to hear from one teen right now who is a senior at Enloe High School and she plans to study environmental biology. Do you already know where you're going to school? Washington University. You're going to leave NC. Um, and she's here to perform a song 
that she wrote. So singing her own, come on on stage, singing her own composition called Awake. Help me welcome Lacey Wilder. Wilder. I'm a senior at Enlo High School and I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm an advocate for how the visual and performing arts can be used to express ideas about science and human rights. Science in itself is not inherently political. It only becomes political when politicians and corporations start prioritizing their selfish interests over facts, start prioritizing their selfish interests over sustaining our planet, and start prioritizing their selfish interests over human rights. This is a song called Awake, about opening your eyes to the conditions of the world around you and making the decision to abandon ignorance. Skirt. 
That sounds worse than it should, but it's an always skirt, but it had, features the periodic table. Uh, some more of our uh, community partners are Planned Parenthood. Pullen Memorial Baptist Church. And I want to once again thank um, Nancy uh, Petty, thank you, the uh, pastor there, for, for giving such a great talk earlier. The Raleigh Astronomy Club. Raleigh Now. The Sierra Club Capital Group. And in our fiscal sponsor span, the Science Policy Action Network. Uh, big shout out to them that really helped make this possible. Stronger NC and the Nature Conservancy. Well, look, we only have three more. Let's put them out there. Triangle Biotech Tuesday. We're going to go ahead and mention them, even though it's only Saturday. Wake Audubon and Women Mobilize NC. Oh, thank you very much. And I want to mention again the paper hand puppet intervention that was here earlier and the Oakwood Second Line Band and from Bilingual Communications. Now, this is Aureen, and we've also been seeing Kathy, our ASL interpreters. So, fantastic. Thank you. So, I also want, I wanted to share something which is a favorite quotation of mine. We heard from Carl Sagan earlier from Nancy, um, but I, you may have heard this quotation, but I think it always bears repeating. It's from Isaac Newton, who once said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. I, I love that. You've heard that before. It's, it's an amazing thing, and it's just astonishing to think that Isaac Newton, inventor of gravity, universally hailed as perhaps the greatest scientific mind to ever walk the earth believed in giants it's shocking but seriously i really do love those words and i love it because of what it says about science that science is a process it's not a collection of facts gathered in books gathering dust that you have to memorize for tests science is a living human collaborative process and it really is like a relay race each generation carries the baton as far as they can and hands it off to the next generation and they carry it as far as they can and they hand it off and this is happening in myriad directions simultaneously in all these different fields and you know Long ago, we found ourselves conscious beings on an apparently flat earth with this brilliant sun during the day and at night these tiny points of light that obviously orbit around our world. What could be more obvious than that, right? But through generations of thorough plotting detective work, We've pieced together this amazing 13.7 billion year history of an evolving universe that continues to surprise us and amaze us. And yet, for all our accomplishments, what do we seem to value and celebrate most often in our modern culture? Movie stars, rock stars, sports stars, reality TV stars. But what about the actual stars? And what about reality? We wouldn't even be able to celebrate any of those other things if it weren't for the science and engineering and technology that make them possible, like live television broadcasts from around the globe with fancy graphics, slow motion, instant replay, streaming video in the palm of your hand so you can watch cat videos wirelessly. Thanks to networks of satellites, which are tiny points of light that we placed in the sky with rockets. Lasers, they're just cool. <laughs> we have stadiums that can hold 100,000 people. It's all incredible technology, indistinguishable from magic. But it's not magic, it's science. So I'm really honored that I had the opportunity to be here with all of you to celebrate and stand up for science. And let's hope we just continue to expand human knowledge of the universe. Thank you.